Happy Resurrection Day, everybody. Yes. And if you're Jewish, happy Passover. And if you're atheist, well, good luck with that. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm here to receive this offering for us. He's such a show. <laughs> Yeah, he won't be wearing those cowboy boots if I find him first. Oh. <laughs> I've already hidden the hat and the oil slicker coat. You know how they used to be in style years ago? Yeah, well. If anyone's in line for an oil slicker coat, let me tell you, I'll, I'll give you one. Um, he can be Walker, Texas Ranger some other time. So. But he's Walker, Texas Ranger in the spirit. So. Uh, um, but uh, as the ushers are getting ready to come, um, I just... Uh, I just wanted to talk about something this morning. Uh, during the Passover season, it is not a coincidence that our Savior was crucified and resurrected during this time period of the calendar. Um, everything that Jesus did to his birth, to beginning his ministry, everything coincides with the Jewish calendar and what they believed. And so it is Passover season, and it, during this time period, um, there are three Jewish feasts that are celebrated that the Lord directs us to give an offering. Now, I'm not talking about your tithes, because your tithes is a commandment of God that we automatically give 10% that the Lord has blessed us with. But I'm talking about things, something above and beyond that. I'm talking about a Passover offering this morning, a resurrection seed. Now... I can tell you, my husband has not been gainfully employed now in some time. And we don't take any money from the church at this point in time. Everything goes to the expenses of the church. How many knows it takes a lot to get a church up and going? Right. You know? yes. We have stuff all the time that we're trying to, to purchase and, to, and to, to do and to get going. And, and I mean, aren't these decorations nice? Yeah. Diane and her mom come, come do. We've got the flowers going out front. We've got spring ones. We're going to be planting summer ones here in this. And, and um, it takes a lot to get things going. And so um, I can tell you it's been a journey of faith. And that's okay because we know God has called us here. Now my son and daughter-in-law are experiencing the same thing. They left very good jobs to come down here. And now we're believing for laundry so are we, Katie? <laughs> <laughs> and so, but I want you to know something. We have always been sowers. And today I'm putting a check in the offering. My husband hasn't gotten paid in weeks. But I want you to know, we sold a lot when Prophet Phil was here. And he landed a very, the, probably the largest contract that he has had in years after sowing a big seed in that offering. And we believe that no matter what you sow, whether you can really afford it or not, it's not a matter of affording it, you can't afford not to sow your offerings wow. to the Lord. And this is a good time during Passover where there is an open heaven, and the Lord blesses us extra for sowing. So I want you, when, as you're getting your offering together, I want you to really consider sowing an extra Passover offering this morning as an open heaven. See, we don't have to worry about the Lord's meeting our needs because we have made a lifestyle of sowing. We had to. How can we teach it to others if we don't do it ourselves? And so we made a lifestyle of sowing. So I know that I have sowed seed for our bills to be paid back a long time ago, and the Lord has never on us. Amen. Wow. Amen. Come on. Never fail. Amen. There's always been food on our table. We've always had our bills paid and we always know that our needs will be met Amen. because of our sowing. Yeah. So I didn't fill this out, honey, because I never do, but here. Yeah. Whatever you think this morning as we get ready to sell. Um, and I'm going to... There he goes. Grandstand again. Let me tell you. Should be a politician. Um... As I get ready to pray over the offering this morning, we're going to dismiss the children and then show a, a special video. But video. But kids, I think it would be best if you actually met me out back before they start the video, okay? Dear Jesus, we thank you this morning. We thank you and we praise you for this resurrection day. We thank you that we serve a risen Savior, unlike other people who so time and money into gods that are statues and gods that that 
they think of our of the earth and we thank you that we know we can feel you in our hearts we can feel you on a day-to-day -day basis we know that you are with us we know that when we pray to you our prayers will be answered we can seek you for advice and we can we know that you hear us when we pray we thank you for this resurrection day that you have taken the keys of death hell and the grave yes, yes. and that this life is not the end but that we have life eternal with you and we thank you and praise you as we give our gifts this morning of our Passover seed. We thank you, Lord God, that all our needs will be met. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.